G'day guys, Brendan from Tat here. Um, so I've just got an Audi Q7 2006 and it's got a parasitic draw. So I just wanted to run you through what I've done. So the car came in absolutely dead. So um, the battery was completely flat. So I've taken that one out and I've just got it charging using my um, battery maintainer that we use for programming and whatnot because we've got the actual charger on a different car. So that's charging up the car at the moment. The battery on these is, is down in here. I've just put in a donor battery at the moment so at least I can do testing. Now this thing, it's been asleep for a good couple of hours. So I've got all the doors open and I've got these latches locked over so that it thinks it's closed. Um, for the first hour or so, I'd say maybe 45 minutes, um, I've got my little amp clamp on here and I was seeing it jumping around from about one amp to 500 milliamps so this little thing's a, bit, a ripper for this you know it's got nice enough big jaws that it can get around batteries but um, still quite good resolution under two amps so I use this for parasitic drawers a lot um, as I said so it was jumping from about one amp to 500 milliamps for the first 45 minutes and then everything's gone to sleep by the look of it and we've got a steady draw of 230 milliamps uh, more than I'd want to see you know so you should be seeing well 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 under the hundred a lot of people say even 30 milliamps is a is considered an acceptable draw not over 200 that's quite a bit so got all the doors and everything latched so the plan was i was going to go around and get to all the fuse boxes which there are many on these um, but first thing i've done is just grab a thermal camera and we'll have a look for any drawers so going around and looking for any um, drawers on this thing it's been sitting for a good few hours now engine's still warm so that's throwing bits off You'll see how it's hard to see because um, everything's quite cool. But if you give it a reference, say put my hand in the picture, so everything goes quite cool now and makes it a lot easier. I'm looking around here and I got up to the mirror. And even when I have my hand there, you'll see that mirror is cooking. If I came out to the front, the mirror, even with my hand as a, as a reference, let's move it out of the way. See that thing. And so when I touch the center point of that mirror it is it is hot it's red hot so i think we found our draw okay so a good result here a number are much more comfortable with 57 milliamps i mean this is a pretty big you know fact um this is a pretty big optioned out audi q7 definitely a, a large jump down from the 300 or so milliamps so um it was actually this connector here which goes up into the back here which i believe is an auto dimming function of this mirror um, it's also got this section which I think is to do your lights and there might be a compass in this thing but it was um, it was this guy up here that was causing heat in this back section as soon as I unplugged that we had a, a large drop of um, amperage there and it looks like we've found the parasitic drain so just a quick one there guys a parasitic drawer on this 2006 Audi Q7 um, I'll get this logged up as a repair solution along with the, other, the thousands of other repair solutions that members are putting up there. So head to www.tat.net.au. Um, very easy to, easy to search through repair solutions, um, good known scan data, scope data, all that kind of stuff that will get you to the bottom of something like this um, very quickly. Thanks guys.